this side of the dresser. Um, we've done the bottom drawer, so we're just gonna go ahead and start from the bottom to the top. Okay. We have, you can see in the inside, we've got some cedar blocks. You don't want those. This is a dinosaur, Roger's thesaurus. I don't think this is worth anything, but I will donate it. So put that aside. These are Disney's 20 questions. Okay. Keep that out. You know, I have seen these sell for, um, on other people's uh, YouTube channels, well, of, on other people's Instagram feeds, that these vintage, especially the brass um, light switch covers, have sold. So these are vintage. They're made in the USA. 1986 from Jackson Manufacturing Company. So I will, there's, there's this one and this one, so I'll put those online. So upon first glance, it looks like a lot of this stuff is going to be trash. However, it is kind of neat to see some of this vintage perfume samples. This one's from Machino. And then here's the classic um, Giorgio Beverly Hills. Do you guys remember that from the 90s? Oh, wait. For her and for him. Let's see if it still smells. Oh! Smell that. Ooh. Doesn't that bring you back? Oh, gosh. It's so bad. Let's see what the for him smells like. The for him smells better than the for her. You want to smell the for him? Here, let Ooh. Seth. Here, say hi to Seth. Seth, the, Seth works for us on Saturdays. but That is strong. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's very, bad. very 90s. So we have some ice or E St. Laurent. Let's see what these smell like. Oh, that's bad. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Ooh. And then we've got, Man. I know, I don't even know what that is. So these are just some trash, trash basically. Oh, Jessica McClintic. I had this and actually I bought a bottle of this at a yard sale. Mark loves it. He really does and he hates it. Oh, let's smell it. That's it. I like it. He doesn't like it. He's not a fan. Giorgio Armani. So again, what is this? This is, oh, Am Amber Antique Le Parfum. Springwood Four Seasons Perfume Sachet. Oh, this is from the Walt Disney Company from the Four Seasons Summer. So I'll put this aside just to, you know, it might be, it might have some value for it. It's got a little sea gun on it. I know that they're called seagulls, but I've always called them sea guns since a kid, and that's what they're called for me, to me. Some more just trash, basically. Uh, there's that ma machino. Um... Yeah, trash from Ellis Ears. Jessica McClintic. Yeah, this is it, this is all. It's just trash. So this isn't a fun a fun drawer. Let's see what these newspapers. This is the Indianapolis Star from uh, 1968. So that's kind of neat. Billion Dollar Bank in Indiana. No, no money, no money stowed away underneath the, the newspaper. All right, next bit of treasures. This is from the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare from, it's dated 1968. So this is a, cover up the name, and, the, and well, claim numbers. This is from the Certificate of Social Insert, uh, insurance award from the federal security agency um i don't know this is just something that i'll i'll look into further we'll set that aside here is a belt very small belt it's not even real leather it's going to get rid of that here we have a scar feels like silk. It's definitely vintage. I don't see a maker's mark on it anywhere, but I will keep that and put it aside. It is silk. I can tell by feeling it. So we'll set that aside. There's just some more. Try here some marbles though. Those cat's eye marbles? Yep. So we'll set 
those aside. Clear glass, my favorite. No. Put those no. in there. Yeah. I don't like clear glass, so that will be donated. We have some linens. This feels like just a, just a, no, this, I don't know. I think it's just a, it's some sort of a linen. Set that aside. This, the pretty, oh, this is just three, you can get three cents off. Those were good sales back in the day. Um, it's just a paper towel thing, but it has something, it looks like a, a nighty. Oh, Granny was keeping her nighty in her bureau. There's a, there's another word I can't say. Bureau, bureau. There, I said it. I can't say that word. This, I don't know. This is just like a little shawl. It's very pretty. It feels like silk. It's just a vintage shawl. I don't think that there's a maker's tag on it anywhere. It's very pretty. And it's got these little silk rosettes on it. Unfortunately, the lace is a little yellowed, but I will soak that in OxyClean. This is Hello Buddy. It is, it's, I don't know. It's Facts of Cervix. It says it's Comics of War. Sold by X Servicemen. Price, pay what you please. So this was something that I guess you would pay as a donate. Let me see if there's a copyright in here. It's very much World War II, maybe Korean War era. Um, but the graphics in here are pretty neat. So that's something to look into. Hmm. Okay, let's set that aside. Your, your child trusts you. This is just uh, to protect him from entrapment. Oh, this is like to keep your child safe from a, being locked in a refrigerator. Hmm. Here's a postcard from Lover's Leap in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I do sell postcards in the shop, so I'll set that aside. This is some certified mail. I don't know. The Superior Court from the state of Maricopia, so that's Florida. It's a summons that they were, I try not to get the names or anything. They were required to appear and defend 20 days. It's from Maricopa County is Arizona. I like to buy things. I like to read people's old letters because I'm nosy. I'm just trying to see it, what this was in a summons for, I don't know, domestic relations. So would that maybe be a divorce? I don't know. So there's a summons in here. There's a little note here that says, thank you very much. Payment will notify you whether payment will... I don't know. It's a summons. We'll put that aside and I can be nosy and read through it later. This is more like safety things. Here's schematics for a uh, refrigerator. Food keeping tips. Here's a card. Here's a little, this one's dated 1942. It's just an envelope, but still with the stamps on there, I still put it aside. It might have some value. I'm just kind of going through here quick. This is just, oh, this is neat. This is the 72nd annual commencement of the Bedford High School, Bedford, Indiana. So this is a graduation ceremony from 1945. So that is really neat. So this is something that definitely someone might be interested in purchasing at the shop. It has all the teachers and the Board of Education, Dr. Turner. Okay, so we'll put that aside too. Here are some airmail stamps, which they've been postmarked. So I'll still set them aside because they, they might still have some value to someone. So we'll put those aside. There's Jesus. This, um, it's a certificate of promotion 
They've been promoted from the intermediate department to the senior department. I don't know what that means, but it's vintage, so we'll set that aside. Is that from like their high school or from junior high to high school? Uh, maybe. Sunday Ooh. school? Oh yeah, it could be. Aw, announcing the arrival of a baby from 1942. Isn't that cute? Put that aside. I sell cards. And I like old boxes. This is an old box. I don't know why. It's just neat. So I'll set that to the side. Trash. There's a bunch of rubber bands in here and something. So I don't know. This is a paper towel that was wrapped up in a rubber band and it's got writing on it. Hey, I'm a little nervous. I hope it's not like somebody's, if it's somebody's tooth or something. Um. Oh, dad's Buckeye. He carried for rheumatoidism. It's one of those wish Buckeyes. That's sweet. I kind of want to keep this together. So some of these Buckeyes, and if you don't know, if you're, you know, not from the Midwest, I don't know if they have Buckeyes in other parts of the country. Maybe they do. But these are Buckeyes and they fall from a, what kind of a tree do they fall from, Mark? They fall from a tree. But some of them are shaped where you can hold it in your hand and it's, you can just, you know, it just feels good. It just fits in your hand just so. It's like a rubbing stone. So this was someone's father's buckeye that he carried for his rheumatoid. So we'll put that back together because I'm a sappy person and I like to keep things like that together and they've kept it like that for so long. So I'm putting that aside. This is some paperwork. Oh, here's another birth announcement. Oh, they just don't make these things like they used to. This looks like, well, there's more cards in here. Because you've been just like a mother. Seasons greeting. This is actually from, it's from Aunt Mabel. Um, it's Hallmark, but this would be go like on top of the Christmas package. There's Jesus. This was from a someone's funeral from 1968. Ferguson Lee, that's a local funeral home. Here is a postcard. It has someone's address on it. I mean, I know it's from the 60s, but still. Bedford High School. Um, 1961. So, we'll keep all those. Oh, here's a, something from the newspaper. In loving memory. All right. Set those aside, and then we got some more. I wonder why, why did people line their drawers with newspapers? So this is just more drawer lining material. This is Bloomington. Uh, 1978. So we'll set these aside. Which was that car in 1978? Oh, there's a kitty cat! A cat napper. Um, you could get curtains for four dollars a yard. Uh, a car. Yeah, oh, look at it. Look at this Honda. The Honda Civic. Five speed. You could get an Omega sedan for $4,600. It's kind of neat to look through. To see what, what the prices were. So there's it. On to the next. And more paper. Here's some more linens. This looks like a hanky. No? No, I think this was like, this would go on the arm of a chair, maybe. So this is just more linens. Some blue. This is just a, this is a lost art that people just don't do anymore. Now, I know that sometimes patterns can sell for a decent amount of money. This is a McCall pattern. Um, so I'll set this aside and look it up. I don't believe that it's been used. I mean, it's been opened, but 
So I'll set that aside and look that up. Here's a sweet little baby blanket. These are so soft. You have some more perfume pads. More. Oh, look at these fashions. That. Those are snazzy. You could get these flannel and woolen pants for $8.99. Look at that, the graphic on here. That, that neat with the There's cars. The yeah. The W. William H. Block. H&R Block. No, H&R Block is taxes. I don't know. Let's see. Let's send this side. Um, this is... Look at this, this furniture. It is from Indianapolis Star from 1968. So I'll set this aside. This would be fun to look through, too. Okay, that drawer didn't take very long. We have more perfume things. Oh, here's an Avon bar of soap. It's like a rose. Probably not gonna keep that, but tissue paper. We have a box of cards here. Here's some more <laughs> perfume things. We have some holiday cards. There's that one. Happy birthday. I liked this one. I think I showed this one in the video. Look at how great that graphic is. This, these are Gibson cards. This one is Father's Day. You don't see very many Father's Day cards. Look, it's got Lucky Rabbit's Foot. It was from Norma. It's a Hallmark card. It's a Christmas season's greetings. There's another one. I wonder if these have been used. Yep. More Christmas cards. Be great. There were some Halloween cards in here. Christmas. Christmas. These are so cool. Oops. Oh, this one's going to be cute. Oh, look at the colors on that. Oh, and look at his little they're textured so you open it up and you can cut out if you can see this is like a textured um, paper on there oh that's so cute and this one oh my gosh look at how cute that is so cute these are all hallmark thinking of you And you know I gotta be nosy and I'll go back. Hi Daddy. I'll read all of these cards. I like to read these cards. Happy birthday. This is a cute one. Get well wishes with the dog on it. And then a happy birthday. This is just the bottom of the box. Christ told you to do these things. Do them and live abundantly. This is Oral Roberts just like a little like a giveaway devotional type thing tissue paper Whoa. let's see where this paper is from. this has the obituaries in it this is the indianapolis star from 1968 take a bifocal sale carpet price war This one's probably about the same year. We have these two little drawers are left, and that is adorable. This is just a little vintage leather keychain with a mushroom on it. And look, there's a P on it. This was supposed to be good luck. A four-leaf clover. The four-leaf clover is not in there any longer. But these keys, this looks like, that's a neat skeleton key. A little skeleton key there. And this one, oh, look at that. It's got a line on it. People make jewelry out of these keys. So that one has a line on it. It's a master lock key. So this is probably from a lock, like a padlock. This is from Sears. It's an inside out bracket. 
pull down shade. For, yeah, pull down shade. This is just, you know, leftover yarn and a screw and a tie. Oh, there's some more marbles. Marbles can be good money. If you know what you're looking for, which I don't, but I'll put these with the other ones. And I like, she just, she just took the time to line all of these drawers, which I think is just precious. Okay, last drawer. We've got some more marbles. These are really pretty. Like that one has a bunch of different colors in it. So we'll put those in the marble, in the marble <coughs> bowl. It's just a, aww. I wish I knew where this was in front of. I wish I knew if it was a local place. It's a, in a drugstore. Prescriptions. I don't know. Here is her. Don't know who she is. This is. It looks like another first graduating class of 1975, Bedford North Lawrence. So was this at, why is this the first graduating class? For Bedford North Lawrence. That's oh, we, okay. So in our, we went from Bedford High School to Bedford North Lawrence. So that's the year I was born. And the, no, you were born in 74. So this is kind of neat. Someone might like that. So we'll stick that back in there. Inglewood Sterling Drugstore. So I am going to keep this and put it in the shop just because it is a local piece. I mean, if I found something with, our, our building used to be called Merit Shoes. So if I found something with Merit Shoes, even a bag, I would want it. So I will keep this aside. It was on the west side of the square. Um, I, we have a guy that does a lot of local research and stuff, and so this might be something that he might like to put on the local Facebook page. So I will keep that as well as this. He might actually like that too. So here's some gauze or fabric of some sort. We don't need to keep that. Here's a salt shaker. That's random. I wish the other one was in here. This is a nice aluminum salt shaker. Filled, no, it's not full. Never know when you salt. Yeah, never know. A right, comb. That's and that's that's it. That makes me kind of sad. So. <clears throat> so we filmed what was in this dresser. So now we're moving on to this vanity. This is a vanity vanity that we got. I want to say I paid sixty dollars for this one and thirty dollars for this one. And, and included all of the content. So there's not a whole lot in this one. So I go ahead, I went ahead and thought I would go ahead and put it with this video. So this is the beautiful dresser, or vanity, sorry. And it has these mirrors, these angled mirrors. We actually have one similar to this in the shop right now, and we just sold it. So we're wanting to replace that one with this one. But anyway, let's see what's in these drawers. Feathers. But I don't think they're like wild bird feathers. Maybe a hat with feathers was kept in here. But this is sweet. What would be even nicer if there was a little note in here that like this was from so-and-so's wedding. This looks like something that was worn in someone's hair. And then we've got a little boutonniere corsage here. And here. These are made in Japan. So they are vintage. This, these probably tied. So I'm assuming from somebody's wedding, there's no note or anything, but these can be, people do like these. So we'll set all of that back in there. And then, oh, look at the little, got a little mushroom and a little frog. And Oh, there he is. And a little owl. And a little cardinal. Are those all the little creatures? Looks like it, but we have 
This is a microphone stand. No. What's that? Earrings? These are some earrings, I think. Or maybe, I actually, I think they're probably tacks. That's what my guess is. They're like thumbtacks. We've got a parasol that doesn't open. Some vintage doll clothes in here. There's no, like, they're not Barbie or anything. There's no Barbie tag on them, but there's a little hanger. And a bouncy ball. And some feathers. What's this say? Made in Japan. So, yeah, here's another one of those. I want to say that those are probably thumbtacks. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm saying, just to make myself feel better, that there was a hat kept in here. Or a bird. No, not, there were no birds kept in here. So I'm just gonna put these back in here for now. We'll go to the next drawer. Okay, let's see Disney. Maybe we'll find some more good stuff in this one. This is an apron, which I do sell in the shop. It looks like a, no, it's not a child's apron. That's neat. Oh! Oh. Oh, it's Cuba. That's neat. I wonder, this probably was made, was made pre-1960, whatever, they, when you couldn't, when transportation was cut off to Cuba. So I went, this may have some value, actually. All right, so also I'll point out too that this dresser also had, or the vanity has the tongue and groove um, drawers in it as well. Okay, so next drawer, we've got some, they're from Hooks, so that shows some of the age to it. Um, probably from the 90s. They're made in the USA. There's no date on the back of it, but they are, they've already been used. There's only a couple of them left. Uh, gift tags. I'll probably just take those home and use them. Oh, we we got, we got some toys in here. This is a little hot, or a pot holder that someone has made. It's pretty cute. And then we have the Pearl Harbor Remembered 50th Anniversary patch from the USS Arizona. So this is dated uh, 1991. That's kind of neat. There might be some collectability to that. We have some Velcro maybe? I don't know. Then we've got some toys in here with these little signs. Upsy Downsy, visit the Falls Up Falls. Now, I'm thinking that this may go with that. Does that look like an Upsy Downsy? Yeah, look at it. It's got the feet. Yeah, the feet the and the hands. But girl, look what? Okay. Her face kind of looks like Mr. Bubble. It looks like Mr. Bubble's face. Okay, so I don't know. I have never heard of Upsy Downsy. That's kind of mm, cool. I just, oh, she can stand on her head. Well, what's this? I don't know what that is. Does it go with this? She's got like a little bridge. I don't know. We'll have to do some more research on that. It, is, it says it's made 1969 Mattel. This could be good. I've never heard of ups, upsy downsy. That could be a good, could be a good thing. And then this says, that way, this way, which way? Well, that's kind of neat. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Well, it, I don't know. And then all, I wonder if she goes, yeah, this is also dated 1967 Mattel, Hong Kong. We just need to glue her little hair back on. She's like a little upsy, I don't know, one of those guys too. This is just a little handmade doll. I don't see any tags or anything on it. I think it's just a handmade doll. Look at the stitching on there though. <laughs> the little legs are sewed on there. And then there's a little vintage doll. Man, I 
can't read. Maybe I can read it after I'm, when I'm editing this video, but. May, oh, it was upside down. Uh, made in Hong Kong. <laughs> so she's, look at her little, look at her little feet. Okay. So that is it in this drawer. I already did that one. I already did that one. So let's move over here. Okay, this doesn't look very exciting, but we have more of those brackets. And I think I'm going to look these up to see if there's any sellability there. They're all the same. Um, D24, D24, D24. Oh, this, this looks like a little brass pig magnet. So that's kind of cute. That will sell here locally. And just some plastic in there, so that's trash. Then we get, oh my gosh, this is straight up from the 90s. Do you guys remember these big bows that you'd wear in your hair? I remember these. That's funny. Made in Taiwan. Then we have a vintage um, electric, or uh, electric cord. It's not vintage, it's just an extension cord, but hey, it's usable. We'll use it. And then a latch hook. Lee words made in England. It's just a little latch hook thing and then a crochet hook. Hey, Dad, could it, oh, yeah. get him. I'm not video or anything. Right. <laughs> okay. I don't think there's anything else. Oh. Oh, we have a marriage license. It's a marriage license. Marriage license, state of Indiana, Lawrence County. I don't want to give away the name, but this is a marriage for 1919. So that That's is okay. cool. They're not alive anymore. Well, I know, but still. Marriage certificate from 1919. April 1919. That is cool. And then this one. all. Holy Matrimony, April 1919. I actually have another one of these in a frame in the shop, but it's not a local one. So may, we have a bunch of frames, so that might be pretty to put in a frame. It's very pretty. So that is all that's in these dressers, well, vanity and dresser. So pretty neat stuff. And again, I paid $30 for this, $60 for that, and I'm telling you, I don't know the clothing um, alone will be will make our money back. So, But that is this video, and stay tuned. I'm going to actually stay in here and film a couple more videos that will be posted this week of some of the other items that I got from the auction various boxes that you know at the auction when you can buy a whole box and you don't really know what's in there so i'm going to go through those boxes next and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel leave me a comment what do you think was the most unusual thing or just the thing that you thought that you liked the most out of everything that we pulled out of this dresser so just leave me a comment and let me know and i will see you see you in my next video bye